Alicia, when are you going back to North Korea? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. <laughs> I was about that experience. <laughs> it was a one-time experience, and you know, it wasn't even on my bucket list. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it was one I and done. Mike was asking me how I, you know, I was interested in doing that original interview because I saw that you had fought in North Korea, which to me was just like a ridiculous place to fight. Um, it reminded me sort of like Rocky IV, Rocky goes to hostile territory or whatever. What, what, what do you remember about that fight? Or the, or the trip. Or the trip, yeah, yeah. Oh, the trip was very memorable. <laughs> The fight, uh, just the situation it, it, within the fight made it uh, uncomfortable. But everything there was uncomfortable. Uh, they didn't let you walk you know, around outside, did they? Not at all. You had to be with a handler at every time. They had your passport. Um, so that, that, you know, that was a scary situation. They took your... Um, phone and laptops at the airport. So you didn't even have that. Um, when, when we arrived, we had to fly to South Korea because I think it was a South Korean promoter or might have been a Chinese promoter. I have no idea. Someone reached out to me to ask who was the promoter is and I'm like, I have no idea, can't remember. Um, but we, had, we flew into South Korea and then the next day we flew to connect to China to North Korea. And then the second we arrived, every, we gave up everything. And then they took us to, um, they took us to uh, 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 area where we had to pay homage to uh, Kim Jong, <laughs> the, the yeah. second or yeah. first. And how, then, how did you pay homage? You know, they have a, this big monument and you have to go and you have to bow or whatever, the whole group. And then they say some few words, you bow, and then, you know, they got back on the bus. And then they immediately took you to, I don't even know if we made it to the hotel, but they had I'm a glad, show. I'm glad Trump never heard about that idea. He'd do it for himself. <laughs> I think everyone, ha I think it's a requirement if you go there. <laughs> um, well, we very sensitive, very sensitive about statues. <laughs> <laughs> and then they took us to, um, there was an event because I think it might have been like the 70th anniversary of um, their independence. And they had this big event, kind of like when um, the Olympics was in Beijing. You know, it was Beautiful. That was the, the highlight of my time there, actually, because um, you had 20,000 performers in unison. No one made a mistake. They were afraid to make mistakes. <laughs> and it was wonderful. When it finished, everyone miled out. It's, it, it was so crazy how orderly everyone was in leaving a venue. You could not sit around, you know, everyone moved out, got on the bus and we got back to the hotel and then everything else from there was like, mm, I'm just gonna stay here, train and then do my fight. Um, I, I remember asking you a lot of details about it, you know, because like, how would you train? You told me there was like a room with like a treadmill or whatever. Um, right. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, we were talking about the fact that, you, you know, we were discussing how you got robbed in that fight, basically. I mean, uh, <laughs> and, you know, and thinking about it, you know, and especially you as an experience with a boxer, I mean, what did you think going in? Like, that's, that's a place where you're definitely going to get robbed, no? I mean... Uh, you know, I really didn't think about it because every fight that I, uh, as I said, I, the majority of my fights have been on the road and every fight that I go in, I still have a, this idea that, um, it's going to be fair. <laughs> okay. And um, the only way to get robbed usually is like, yeah, okay, the judges. But this one also had the referee. 
I remember, yes, 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 yes. So, um, you know, that was an element I did not expect. He, he had, he was, you, you, you know, what I remember you telling me is he was apologizing to you almost after he, the meet. He apologized every time he saw me. Every right. time he saw me because no. at, at any point that I was uh, pursuing or if I had her in the corner or if, if she was in trouble, he would always break the fight. So it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, you know, bring you back to the center and whatever. And, you know, if maybe, I had maybe he didn't want to wind up before the firing squad. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, it was very disappointing in, in that sense. Um, they've been in, in other fights, I would fight, the fight is over, and then I would get robbed, you know, and then it's like, oh, okay what happened there i don't know what you were watching but this one was okay very blatant very early on so uh it, you know it's disconcerting yeah and i remember you told me there was a knockdown which wasn't scored it was scored a slip or something like that right yes yes and that's happened in a couple of fights <laughs> okay okay i mean sometimes there there is some questionable calls like is it one or is it the other but com you know combined with what you're telling us it was probably you know it was probably a knockdown um, and he took a point away from like, you know, you, you leaning your head down or something. You know what I mean? It was some, that's what you were telling me you know, 12 years. Right. Yeah. Like uh, sh uh, she coming in and uh, and hitting me <laughs> and uh, I'm getting the point taken away. Right, right, right. Um, uh, and then one more thing I wanted to ask you, and then we'll sort of move on, or, you know, there's only so much you can talk about. Um, I remember asking you, you know, if they were trying to play it up as like North Korea versus the United States. And, you know, you had said no, but you did say that what they did was they played the national anthem of the United States for you. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't think at that point... Uh, Probably I would. I probably was wearing a Jamaican flag at that point. I, I uh, okay. okay. Early in my career, um, I started wearing uh, my country flag. So, yeah. <laughs> and but they, they wanted. Uh huh. Yeah, they did. They did want it to seem like uh, the, you know, East versus West. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, and I mean that. That was. I found that interesting, especially you know. And then the other thing you told me that. They clapped. The audience clapped, which, which was sort of choreographed, I guess. But you know, oh, it was very choreographed. They had a person that would, they would either, you know, would clap on cue. You had someone who'd run by, and you know, hype the crowd up, and they would all move in one. And that was fascinating to me, especially when I'm sitting down listening to my you know coach saying something and would see the person go by and they're doing things it's like okay what was that <laughs> so yes uh, there was a major hyping in what and when you would make a can i ask you how was the food oh uh, horrible <laughs> how bad uh, well I don't, I didn't like kimchi, which is what they're famous for. And um, um, other things for me was bland or something. I think I ended up just eating maybe just rice and cabbage or something like that. Not a lot. I mean, I was going to ask, you know, and again, it's not so important, but because um, uh, you're from Jamaica, um, but, yes. you know, do you consider yourself an American, Jamaican, American, just Jamaican? Is that, I mean... I think first I'm Jamaican. Okay. Then I'm American. All right. All right. So. Yeah, I, I'm, I, my heritage is very big for me. So uh, I'm, will always consider myself a Jamaican. Even here, when someone asks me where you're from, I was, I would say I'm Jamaican, but I grew up in New York. Okay. <laughs> 